Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can display color variants as a separate products on your collection pages. So basically this video is specific for horizon theme. If you have any other theme, I have already created a lot of videos for different themes. So you can follow that. And uh, this horizon theme is the free Shopify theme, which, which has been launched recently by Shopify. So I have created the code and if you have color variant or maybe any other name of the variant, then still you can separate those variants on collection pages and let me show you how you can do all this stuff so firstly you should go back to the dashboard of the store and uh, I'm going to install the fresh version of the horizon theme so let me click on add so here you can see that we have horizon by Shopify and uh, this is inst installing I have to wait for a while yeah now it is added so let me publish this theme first because the older one I have already edited. So let me see the preview how it looks now. And you will find out that on home page as well as on collection pages. For say example right here we have featured collection and you can see all those products are displaying. If I'm coming to shop all page or any other collection page. So here you can see that we have multiple uh, products but each product has multiple variants but still only single variant uh, is displaying on this collection page so i will show you that how you can separate them out uh, individually so you should go back to the dashboard again and here you can see that we have three dots you should duplicate uh, you should click on this these three dots and uh, then duplicate this theme uh, because later on if you have any problem or something you can roll it back to its original version once you duplicate it then again you should click on these three dots and click on edit code and inside of it you will see that we have multiple folders and files. I have already created a documentation. I will be adding the link below in the description. So you should follow that. And once you are uh, clicking the link, you will be downloading these files. So let me open document.txt. And inside of it, I have given every step which we are going to follow in this video. Now we have the first step, which is create new snippet. And name of that snippet is color dash variant. So let me copy this name go back here click on snippets click on add a new snippet paste that name which is color dash variant and then click on done and here we have the empty file similarly we have to create another file and uh, that is also the snippet you should uh, copy color dash gallery and go back here click on add a new snippet and then you should uh, click here i mean paste it paste that name and click on done so again go back to the third step which is color dash group so you should copy this go back here click on add a new snippet paste that name here and then click on done again go back to the documentation we have the fourth step which is create new snippet and name of that snippet will be color dash card so let me copy it and you should click on add a new snippet paste that name here click on done and then go back here you have to create one last file which is color dash swatches so this is also the snippet file you should copy the name click on add a new snippet paste that name here then click on done and that's how you have created all these files now we are going to paste the code step by step so inside of this you will see that we have multiple uh, files which i already have here so now the first was color dash variant so let me copy the code for, for that so this is color dash variant you should copy it and then go back here we have color dash variant dot liquid so inside of it you need to paste that code and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can close this file and go back to uh, color dash gallery dot liquid so i have already created that file which is color dash gallery dot txt so you will find the code inside of it copy it and then after you should go back here paste that code and then click on save once the changes are saved then again you need to close this file go back and we have to copy the code of color dash group so here we have color dash group dot txt so let me copy it then go back here paste the code click on save and then close this file also now we have one more file which is color dash card so here we have color dash card so you should copy it and then paste it inside of this file click on save and then close this file and we have one last file which is color dash swatches 
so you should go back we have color dash swatches dot txt copy this code here and then paste it inside of this empty file and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can close this file and now we have the sixth step which is uh, go to blocks and we have actually product dash card dot liquid so let me copy this and then let me search it right here you can see that we have underscore product dash card dot liquid and inside of this file we are going to replace this line of code which is in line number 11 with these few lines of code so let me tell you how you can do that so i'm going to paste it right here firstly maybe you should delete it and then paste that new code and then click on save now one final step is go to sections open main dash collection dot liquid so let me copy it you should go back here we have main dash collection dot liquid and inside of this you have to remove li tag inside the loop which is this one so basically you need to scroll and then you will find a loop which is this loop for product in collection dash collection dot products so we are going to remove this li tag this is the opening tag and then we have to remove the closing tag also so here is the closing tag you should remove it and then click on save so once the changes are saved then you can refresh this page and see the changes so here we go now you can see that we have all those color variants which we had are displaying as a separate products so let me show you one more thing if you are hovering on it so all the images are displaying can you see so that's how you can implement this uh, feature into your store if you are facing any issues or something you can definitely tell me i will help you out in that so this feature i have already created for multiple themes if you have any other theme then you can also try this because this is actually helping the customers to boost the and this is actually helping the customers to understand which color they are interested to buy so here they have the full presentation of all those products which you are selling in your shopify store all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can also follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok so thank you once again see you in the next video